Well, hello boys and girls. It's so nice to be with you, even though I can't see you. I'm just looking at a camera and not all your smiling faces. But I'm excited to be able to read a book to you today, one of my favorite books, like I like to say. Um, the name of our book today is called A Bug and a Wish. And it's a brand new book for me, and I've read it, and it looks fantastic. I think you're going to love it too. This relates to our November character word of the month, which is courage. And we're going to see, as we read this, how this book relates to that character word. A Bug and a Wish. Tyler, are you ready for school? The bus will be here in a few minutes. Yeah, I'm ready. Ready for the same stuff, different day, thought Tyler. Bye, Mom. Tyler walked to the bus stop with his head held low, hoping the other boys wouldn't notice him. But soon he heard the familiar sounds. Here he comes. Maybe he'll trip today like he did yesterday. Hey, Tyler, did you get any walking lessons yet? Tyler's face got red, but he kept walking. Luckily, the bus was just arriving, and he got on quickly. Tyler gave a little smile as he sat down next to his good friend, Danae. The pair sat in silence all the way to school until Danae finally asked, Are you okay? You haven't said anything the whole ride. Every day those kids tease me about something. I'm just sick of it. They are being bullies, Danae said. You just need to give them a bug and a wish. I'll see you after school. Gotta go. Hmm, a bug and a wish. I wonder what that's supposed to mean, thought Tyler. Tyler was relieved that he wouldn't have to deal with those boys until tomorrow. At recess, Tyler spent a lot of time walking and thinking, thinking and walking. He kept wondering about Danae's bug and a wish advice. What could that mean? All of a sudden, he looked over and saw a huge ladybug sitting on a plant. Carefully, he picked it up and put it in his sweatshirt for safekeeping. As Tyler was heading back into the school, he looked up and saw something white floating toward him. It was a dandelion seed. Several more seeds seemed to be swirling around him. That's it, a bug and a wish, Tyler said out loud. He grabbed a seed and placed it in his sweatshirt pocket too. Tyler could hardly wait to show his friend what he found. At dismissal, Tyler rushed down the hall and couldn't wait to meet up with Danae in the bus line. Danae, look, I have a bug and a wish. Now I can give them to the boys, right? Danae smiled and said, oh, Tyler, you're so funny. That's not exactly what I meant. The next time the boys tease you, you need to give them a different kind of bug and a wish. Tell them, it bugs me when you tease me, and I wish you would stop. Oh, now I get it, Tyler said with a sigh. Before the two friends got on the bus, they let the bug go and blew the wish in the air. Tyler felt better already. The next morning, as Tyler was getting ready for school, he felt a little nervous about following Danae's advice. As he approached the bus stop, the boys started picking on him again. He turned toward them and in a firm voice said, it bugs me when you tease me and I wish you would stop. The boys looked at each other in silence for a moment. Then one of them said, oh, we were just kidding. We didn't realize it bothered you. Well, it does. Tyler stared at the boys. Then one of the boys said, do you want to play ball with us until the bus comes? Tyler was shocked. They had never asked him to play before. Maybe another day, he replied. Tyler needed to know that the boys would be nice to him and others before he d would decide to play. When Tyler got on the bus, he again sat with Danae. So, she asked. It worked, Tyler shouted. I can't believe it. A bug and a wish really worked. Thanks, Danae. I just have one more thing to say, laughed Danae. What? I wish you would listen to me more often the end. So boys and girls, it really did take a lot of courage for him to stand up to his friends. Well, I guess they really weren't his friends at that point, but maybe they will be. They said they didn't realize that what they were saying to him and doing to him 
was hurting him until he used his words to tell them. So it took a lot of courage um, and some good advice from his friend Danae who said, you need to give him a bug and a wish. So using his words to say, it bugs me when you tease me, I wish that you would stop. So boys and girls, I think you're gonna do an activity with your buddy class now, um, practicing using the bug and a wish um, wording. And I think it's also important to realize that there are several things that he could have done uh, that wouldn't have been very good choices. He could have said mean things back to those kids. Um, he could have tattled. Well, it really wouldn't have been tattling. It probably would have been reporting. Um, but he could have done other things that wouldn't have really solved his problem. But this way, in a bug and a wish, he's using his words to, in a positive way to solve his problem um, with these boys. So have fun with your buddies. And remember, the word for the month is courage, and I will see you later.